What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new scary story video. Today guys, we have yet another story from the Vault of Shriek. Now I've read one of these stories before guys and you seem to really enjoy it. <laughs> the cool thing about Shriek guys is that it's by various artists, so each story is more or less written by a different person and a different artist. Today's story that we're reading is called Live by Dan Wu. If you guys want to check out the story on your own or check out any other stories in the Shriek series, I'll leave the link down below. Definitely go check it out, guys. Firstly, guys, how are you doing? Are you scared? Are you ready for another scary story? Do you guys have the lights off? And do you guys have the door closed? Are you alone? You guys seem to really like my scary story videos. I don't know what it is about getting scared that you guys like so much, okay? I think you guys need help. Get some help. But then again, you know what? I guess it's understandable. I mean, that's why we like amusement park rides, right? It's the thrill of being scared. Anyways, guys, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, the Quid app. Quid, of course, is the best app that you can get to download all awesome stickers that you can actually use to text your friends with. All you gotta do is download the app, create your account, and you are good to go to start opening packs and collecting cool stickers, gifts, cards, 3D figures, and it's all free. They have shows like Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, Five Nights at Freddy's. They even have YouTubers on here, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm personally loving these Shane Dawson stickers, just saying. So if you guys want the best app to download free stickers that you can collect and send to your friends, download the Quid app today. Or tonight, if you're watching this at night, hopefully you are. Link is in the description. And without further ado, guys, let's get into today's story. Live story art by Dan Wu. They say that today is the hottest day this year. This is brutal. Click, click. Seems like we got a guy sitting at his computer. Okay, let's find out what's gonna happen. Should I watch a horror movie or something? Hmm? Red Moon TV, live. Okay, looks like a Twitch kind of platform website. Looks like a place where you can watch live streamers do live shows. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hey, I'm a streamer as well. You can check out my Twitch channel down below. Link is also in the description, guys. Shameless self-promotion. Ooh, what's this? He found the hot section. Live, creator Dee Dee. Late night with Dee Dee. Ghost stories, terrifying experiences, beat the heat on scary sleepless nights. I guess that's the equivalent of being on the trending tab. Ghost stories, terrifying experiences. Click. I guess we know what he's into. Well, I guess we know what you guys are into as well. This doesn't sound bad. Now, it looks like we've got enough people here. So shall we get the show started? Wow, Dee Dee, bring it on. When are you going to talk about Ghost? Still handsome as always, lol. Hurry up and start. Ah, right. Before that, make sure your room is dark so that you'll enjoy the show more. Let's all start by turning off the lights. All right, well, you heard him, guys. Make sure your lights are off. I can't be bothered. Come on, all of you who still haven't turned off their lights, hurry up and turn them off. Gasp. I turned it off. I'm afraid of the dark, though. Ha 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 ha. You got me. Shiver. It's a ghost. You should have at least braced yourself for this much if you're watching this show. Hurry, hurry. Jeez, he sure is demanding. Click. He flips the light off. This had better be scary. Now that we've set the mood, I'll start the story. Actually, today is my first show since I moved to a new place. So I was thinking of doing a housewarming show, but it turns out that this place has quite the history. History? It's been hard finding a place because of the deposits, but this place was offered at a ridiculously low price. It's clean and it's close to the subway station. I thought I had really scored big time. However, <sighs> Since I moved here, every night I get this strange chill. I looked into it and it turns out that someone died in this apartment. Three people in fact. The man just sits there. He doesn't seem very amused. I asked around and there used to be three people living here. A couple and their son who was in elementary school. They sound like a pretty normal family. But one day, the mother went insane, murdered her husband and son and then killed herself. What the heck's wrong with this woman? The thing that's even more shocking here is the murder weapon, an ice pick. She stabbed her family to death with an ice pick several times too. Ow, dude, that would hurt getting stabbed with an ice pick. Okay, well, yeah, she, she, she needs help. So freaky. I feel like there's a ghost coming. I'm shivering over here. But why did she kill them? Why did the mom go nuts? Did the husband cheat on her? Psychopath. The reason, I'm not sure either. Not even the police have figured it out yet. So how about we figure out the reason today? The reason? Tap, tap, tap. The man starts typing on his computer. Oh, okay, so you can see he typed in the chat. 
Board. That's him. The reason? How? You don't mean with a Ouija board, do you? I want to see a ghost. I'm scared, but if there really was a murder in there, bring on the Ouija board. You're screwed if the mommy goes something something. That's right. You guys are quick. I'm going to try and summon the ghost right here. Okay, well, you're dead. But Ouija boards require two people, so I'm going to use a different technique. You need two candles, a paper, a pen, and a bit of blood from the person who's going to communicate with ghosts. Poke! He stabs his thumb. A little trickle of blood comes out. All you have to do is poke your finger lightly with a needle, just like you do when you feel bloated. See? Yeah, dude, I see. So simple. Why don't you just use the ice pick to poke your finger, haha? <laughs> Press. He pushes his thumb down to a piece of paper. Then, stamp a bit of blood on both sides of the sheet of paper, so that they're symmetrical. Next, after writing yes and no with a pen, place the candles on the blood spots and you're all ready. Now, if you ask a question, the candle on the side with the answer is supposed to flicker. Okay, that's interesting. I guess that's... Kind of like a Ouija board, except you can't really have an answer spelled out. All you can do is ask it yes or no questions. Well, hopefully he doesn't ask what their names are. <laughs> but I've never actually tried this myself, so I'm not sure if it really works. Now, shall we summon the ghost? Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, are you out there? Well, I don't know, dude. I do Whoa! Guys, did you- Oh! Look, there's someone- Somebody just flashed through the door. Damn, dude, he's gonna be dead before the first drop of candle wax hits. Hmm? Ah! Behind you, by the door! There's a ghost! Something just went by! Turns out it's his mom. That was terrifying. This is so fake. Someone went by behind me? But I'm all alone. Huh? He turns around. But he doesn't see anything. <laughs> ah, you almost fooled me. I don't get scared by this kind of trick. No, no, no. All right, I'm going to try again, so focus. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, spirit, come here. Spirit, are you here? A candle flickers. Wow, did you all see that? The yes side just flickered. Amazing, this is seriously incredible. <laughs> He's just acting surprised. Whew. <sighs> Just stay calm and keep asking questions. Spirit, did you used to live here? Flicker. That's a yes. Then, were you over 20 years old? Flicker. No. This may be the young son of the couple who was living here. I'll ask again. Were you by any chance murdered? Flicker. Yes. Ugh, I've got goosebumps. The hair on my arm is standing on end. Still, I have to ask this one, right? Spirit. Did your mother kill you? Flicker. Yes. Now, I have to find out why he was murdered, so I'm going to slowly ask one question at a time. Ah, right. Before that, is there another ghost here aside from you? Yes. Flicker. Whoa! He says there are more. There are more! Then, is the other ghost your father? No. Uh. Ooh. It looks like he's getting kind of scared now, dude. I don't know if he actually believes this himself, or he's just, you know, over-exaggerating. Then... Is it your mother? Uh... Flicker. Yes. It's her. Huh? Flash. Whoa! Did you just see that? I swear I just saw somebody standing there. The light just flickered and someone was standing there. I can't be the only one, guys. There's a ghost behind you again! This is so fake. The whole vibe today, it's out of this world. I'm sure I saw it this time. Are you really alone? There's another person there. One? It's pretty scary even though it's fake. Wow, that surprised me a bit. It actually seemed pretty real. What's up with the comments? You guys are scaring me. Quit messing around. I I'm really getting freaked out. Phew, was there really someone there? Flicker. Yes. Ah, that wasn't even a question. That's kind of funny. He's talking to himself and the thing he still answered. Should I leave this place? Yes. If I don't leave, will I die too? Flicker. Yes. Oh snap, dude. He better get out. It says I'm going to die. What should I do? Uh, I should start by changing the light bulb. Stay right here and don't go anywhere. I'll be back in 10 seconds. So he's going to change the light bulb? That's the first thing he does? Why doesn't he just get out? Huh. It does actually feel like it's gotten a bit colder. Well, it seems like the main character guy who's watching is still kind of skeptical, but I think he's kind of starting to get more into it. We wait in silence, but it seems like the host doesn't come back. But it's already been more than 10 seconds. Why hasn't he come back? What's he going to do now? Dude, I think he's already dead or something. Oh no! Oh my gosh, dude, what? This girl is like the ring girl on steroids. She is not just like a wet, slimy girl that came out of a well. She is covered in blood and she needs, man, she needs a haircut. Okay, moving on. Ah, uh, huh? Ta-da! 
I scared you, didn't I? Do you feel a little bit cooler now? Heh <laughs> heh. Scary, huh? I prepared a special horror prank cam today for all of you. This is my friend's son. She put a lot of work into her costume. It looks real, doesn't it? Frowny face. I knew it, ha ha ha. My mom was secretly watching and then she screamed. That seriously made me jump, ha ha ha. What the? This isn't good for my heart. Wow. Haha, <laughs> secret camera, haha. <laughs> ah, thank you. I have 3,000 likes so far. Wow. A whopping 5,000 likes now. I love you guys. Ah, still, it's true that there was a murder in this apartment. Tastes like ketchup. Everything that I said before is true, too. I don't believe him now. Actually, even the candle flickering before was real. Flash. Uh huh? I think we just lost the light in the room. What the heck? What the? Did the power really go out? Crazy timing, even my monitor turned off. Shh. No, wait, the camera's still running. That's strange. Can you all hear me? Just wait a sec. This isn't a prank cam this time. I'll just go and check, one minute. Creak. <laughs> Does he think he can fool me twice? Just hurry up and come back. Making me wait only gets me more excited. Ah! Huh? What was that? <laughs> Come on, man. Now he's trying to scare us with his voice. Wow, you could win an Oscar for that acting. I'd bet my wrist that Dee Dee's trying not to laugh while reading the comments. I jumped again. This seems so real. But was it really just the two of them before? And it looks like that comment is highlighted. Was it really just the two of them before? Huh? Tap, tap, tap. He begins typing a message. What are you talking about, Red Lantern? Red Lantern says, I didn't say anything because I thought I saw it wrong, but... Weren't there three people? I'm pretty sure I saw one more person when the lights flickered. Three people? I only saw two people. Me too. There was one more person? Hold on. You're Dee Dee, aren't you? He almost fooled me. I almost got tricked again. Ha ha ha. I'm not Dee Dee. I'm sure that I saw three people before. Guys, did you see three people? I, I didn't even catch that. Uh, hold on. Isn't there someone there now too? Tap, tap, tap. Where? Red Lantern says... Look carefully at the screen. I don't see anything. In the middle. By the door. By the door. Dude, I can't see anything to save my life. You see anything? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Next slide! Okay. I'm out of shotgun shells. Sorry, guys. Huh? Huh? What? What the heck? Okay, I guess... It's now we're on the news. On to our next story. This morning at around 1 o'clock a.m., a shocking murder was caught live on the air during an internet broadcast show. Oh, snap. So I guess they really were murdered? Having received calls from viewers of the show, the police went and found two bodies there which had been badly mutilated by an ice pick. Well, there you have it, guys. The ghost, the ice pick, it makes sense. The two victims have been identified as Mr. Kim, the person running the show, and his friend, Miss Yoon. There don't appear to be any signs of forced entry from outside the apartment, and with the footage recorded during the live show as strong evidence, and it seems like the broadcast fades out. Looks like we have a view of the room, it's under police investigation now. A close-up of the candles. Ah, oh, dude, I hope nothing's gonna pop out again. Oh! The candle just lit up again, guys, I think signaling that it was, in fact, the mother ghost that killed her husband and son. Yes. And that is the end of the story. Wow. Okay, well, that was spooky. Guys, if you enjoyed this story, please, please go check it out. The link is down below in the description. Go ahead and leave a comment. You can check out the other comments to see what people are saying about this story. It's always fun in the comment section. But let me know, what did you guys think about this story? At first, the whole twist and the turnaround that really got me, I did not expect Dee Dee or the host. I didn't expect him to be playing a prank the first time. Like, the first time, that really got me. I don't know, this one had a nice twist, so I kind of like that. But again, I guess I'm not really surprised that the main character or or one of the main characters died and there wasn't really a happy ending. Dude, honestly, I feel like I'm watching Black Mirror whenever I read these stories. Almost all of them just have bad, terrible endings where there's never any resolution. But you know what, guys? That is the theme and the excitement of reading scary stories. Yes! Honestly, I'll give this one two thumbs up. This one was good, and I would definitely recommend it. And if you guys enjoy stories like this, you should definitely check out the Chiller series, okay? Once again, guys, link is down below. Also, guys, again, I want to thank Quid for sponsoring this video. Guys, please go ahead and check them out. Their link is also down below in the description. It's an awesome app if you want to collect stickers and send them to your friends, just like emojis. Thank you, Quid. You guys are awesome. Also, if I have any comic writers out there that write your own horror comics or anything like that, guys, please feel free to send them to my business 
business email address, terrysongtv at gmail.com, if you'd like me to read one of your horror comics in one of my next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.